वेलकम टू दी चैप्टर हाउ मच डज इट वे दिस स्लाइड प्रेजेंट द ओवरव्यू ऑफ द चैप्टर लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव बाई द एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर यू विल बी एबल टू कैलक्युलेट द वेट ऑफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट डिफरेंशिएट द मेजरिंग यूनिट्स ऑफ ग्राम्स एंड किलोग्राम्स एक्सप्लेन द मेजरिंग यूनिट क्विंटल Now let's discuss the introduction to weights. In this chapter, we are going to calculate the weights of different objects, persons, animals and the load carried by heavy vehicles. Weight can be calculated with the help of a weighing machine and its units are in milligrams, grams, kilograms and quintals. Now, let's discuss about grams. weights can be measured in grams kilograms etc small weights can be measured in grams on a small weighing machine examples red gram black gram fruits and vegetables in small quantity are measured in grams now let's discuss about kilograms heavy weights are measured in kilograms for example a rice bag a table weight of a person meat etc let us see the conversation on weight in grams hey mom i'm hungry is there anything to eat no child how oh, then how i'm hungry now okay then i will give you a list of items go to the supermarket and buy them I don't know which items to buy and in what quantity. No problem. I will tell you clearly. Okay, go on. Buy hundred grams of red gram, six hundred grams of gram flour, five hundred grams of chili powder, and two hundred grams of salt. Mom, what's all these grams after every item you mention? That's called gram. Small quantity of items are measured in grams. Who oh, is it? Then if the quantity exceeds more than thousand, simple. It's called kilogram. Thousand grams is equal to one kilogram. Okay, mom, I'm clear now. Now bring all the items fast. Now let us perform an activity to find the weight in grams. Look at the following table and type the answers. Let us look at the scenario on weights in kilograms. Abhishek goes to a sweet shop to buy sweets for a marriage function. He asks for badam halwa and dry fruit halwa. The shopkeeper asks him how many kilograms does he require. Then Abhishek asks, "Uncle, are sweets measured in kilograms?" "Yes, son." "Okay, uncle." then give 5 kg of badam halwa and 3 kg of dry fruit halwa now what is the total weight of sweets that abhishek bought he had 5 kg of badam halwa and 3 kg of dry fruit halwa by adding these 5 kg plus 3 kg he will get 8 kg of sweets let us perform an activity to find the difference in weights in kilograms given below are the weights of persons who work in a gym observe them and type the answer in the boxes
Let us solve some exercise problems. Let us see examples of heavy weights. Explanation of heavy weights. Earlier we have learned how to calculate the low weights in grams. If the weight is increased, we measure it in kilograms. 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. What if the weight is too heavy? How can we measure it? What are its measuring units? We will measure them in quintals if the weight is too heavy. 1 quintal is equal to 100 kilograms. These kind of heavy weights are carried in trucks, ships, etc. as shown in the pictures above. Let us do a simple activity to find the difference between kilograms and quintals. Drag and drop the respective boxes in the space provided. Let us solve some exercise problems. Practice Joan. Try to solve the questions on your own. Click Solution tab to verify your answer. Summary. Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. Now we are able to calculate small weights in grams. For greater weights, we use kilograms. And finally, if the weights are too large, then those can be calculated in quintals. 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. 100 kilograms is equal to 1 quintal. Also learn how to convert grams into kilograms and kilograms to quintals. Follow-up work. A person's weight was 79 kg in the year 2012. It increased by 15 kg in the following year. What is his total weight? Weight of 6 mangoes is 1 kg 800 grams. What is the weight of each mango? Evaluation Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter. How much does it weigh?